Well, I kind of bet you everybody's on that Last of Us 2 stream. It's cool, it's cool. It's alright. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get set up here. Y'all know the routine. Also, I'm having a late lunch too, late dinner too. So, another reason. Okay, let me make sure everything's working. I don't know my alert box ain't working. Working this week. So, like, if you do something for me, just just let me know so I can shout it out. Okay, so ignore the crunching in the background. I'm sorry. Okay, look like our bit rate's good. Hmm. All right, everything's all set. Ooh. Oh man, I forgot the, the sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Yo, get that all in there, that sweet and sour sauce. A little bit more prep, guys, and I'll be all set. Sorry for the wait, you know how it goes. Sounds like some dangerous music. I forgot where I stopped it last week. Last week. That sounds like some real ear hustling music. Just a sec, folks. I'm gonna try this egg roll. Hmm. Oh yeah. I forgot I had gotten invited. Drizzle now to oh man. We gotta hurry up this thing. It's a library on the third floor. Don't cause her trouble, don't cause me trouble. Get straight to the point. 
Mr. Kamoshida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? What? What? Phantom Thieves? This is the first I'm hearing, Makoto. Phantom Thieves? Man, I really want to help you out, but I don't know about those dudes. Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. How could I be a Phantom Thief? Have a listen. Damn it, Ryuji. <laughs> Why? We were supposed to be boys. I defend you in every post. <laughs> so you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? Well, let me ask you one thing, Makoto. Do you have my voice on there? <laughs> What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? Yeah, that's right. that you three are the phantom thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? Hmm. Let me think about it. I believe that time would just be wasted. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let me think about it so I can change your heart. It can't be helped now. Take it here. Show that world so she can go nuts. Oh. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Here. Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. God damn it, Ryuji. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I, I feel sorry, sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, 
I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Ooh, it's getting kind of spicy. Turning into a real pain. This is your fault, Ryuji. Really? Shouting out? You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes, stakes were. were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Ryuji. <laughs> Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know. I'm so sorry. Hey. What should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. I'm willing to try. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... Hmm. We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yeah. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, I gotta vote for the team, y'all. Could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? Cause it's always you, Ryuji. Hey. Oh, I can go out. Look, y'all keep pushing Justine and go. But, hmm. So 59% did all this other stuff. Hmm, I guess I can hang with Mishima. My boy Mishima, see how he's hanging. 
Wait, day ain't Sunday, right? Oh, it's Monday. Okay. Because I would have hung out with that counselor friend. See him out here. Alright. I think I'm just gonna get a burger for today. Wait. the burger. Wait. Uh, actually, I'm going to study at the cafe today. Let me see. Man, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Let me see. Let me pull up the network. See what everybody else did. Time with Akechi, Mishima, the twins. I think I'll study at the diner. Surprise, no, Sando. Ooh, crave for space. I like Royal, but at the same time, it's just, it feels really like a patched up version of him. Show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. It's worse. Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. Hmm. 
that's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? <laughs> <laughs> Give us the details. Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Wow. Really? Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. It's messed up, Makoto. I was telling the people that you you wasn't that bad, but really? Blackmailing me? I, I feel some kind of way about that. Anyway. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. No kidding. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with you, Skate. Back in the slammer. The student council president from Chujin Academy? <laughs> yeah. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? issue here why would Makoto bringing up my sister to upset me are you it seems there's no limit to your duplicity fine I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements <sighs> I'm so mad the mafia hmm can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. See, there you go. You use quick on your feet, Yusuke. <laughs> I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Let's prove our justice. <laughs> Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. All right, guys. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Yusuke, what's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Yusuke, you ain't gotta disguise your intentions to hang out with me. Let's get on. The Sayori. Just oh, say you want to hang cafe out. Quite well. Play some pool. Just, just say you want to hang out with the boys. <laughs> I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I 
fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Calm down, you see. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I'm trapped in what we in the art world call a slum. slum. Are you aware that I'm attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. Damn, Yusuke. I I'll help you out. more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are hmm. all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist. Hey, you kid, don't put yourself down like that, man. It's so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Huh. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. You ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But if my estimations are hmm. correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? Sure. You've already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you, of all people, may be able to bring me closer to the truth. You know I'm willing to help you, is I'd be glad to help. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. You make good point, Yusuke. Mm. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Rain, huh? The phone's ringing. I'm talking about it all over. Hmm.
Hmm. <coughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> so what's going on today? It's not Justine and Carolyn. I can't fuse the persona, right? <laughs> Let's do it. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I guess I can summon it back and figure out how to give that thing free. I still got my copy of Guy McVer. Hey, ladies. I was waiting. Huh. So I let me fuck the realization. Listen up, hmm. inmate. Recognize a place that we mentioned in your society. Just for decoration. Outings with the twins, you can now take the twins to various facilities that pique their interest. Not available, the duo can be found waiting for. In that case, very well. One that has grown quite popular lately is purported to offer foods that stimulate the feeling of being a Big Bang Burger! <laughs> it's the rival size of the universe itself. It's most unknown in the vast nothing of space, it is sure to stimulate the heart. I'm fine with it. Quit spacing out. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Holy crap. Don't tell me. The Cosmic Tower Burger. Thirty minutes. <laughs> I can't finish this. Look at this. This is just pure meat and bread. I will die from this.
Oh, he's so intense. <laughs> I'm already full. Listen up. <laughs> I don't think I can finish. <laughs> He's about to pass out. I suppose. Hey. <laughs> I would willingly consume so much food. What are you all saying to me? Why are humans always testing and pushing their limits? Don't you want a cute little spaceship? A spaceship? <laughs> There's a burger, fries, and some juice for 500 yen. He <laughs> didn't know. Not a fun out today. What a dominion spaceship. <laughs> more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you <laughs> eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. <laughs> that, that wasn't food from this earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? They're a delicacy. I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. Ooh, Maragi. Mubufu. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. <laughs> I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, Good work, inmate. <coughs> Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move. Hey! Yep, we got time to read some books. What are your thoughts? Oh. We got some knowledge. Who? <sighs> I'm still learning. Why is it taking so long with other things? Terrible. Oh, 
easy high pig money. The damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. Yeah, this is terrible. What have you done, Nijiku? Nijimasa. <laughs> oh boy. Received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered, discovered. <laughs> this is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. How's she supposed to handle all this, man? You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Kids these days. Kids these days. Okay. People these days don't know who Hiromi Ito is. Hirobumi. Why are you always picking on me, man? Between paper, bills, coins, which one is issued by the government? It's coins. This is it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Paper bills are printed by the bank, and coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. 
However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. Independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. Nice. All these points, and we still at level two. <laughs> you can't trust them. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. part-time job I'm sure you know about it Ida kun please <sighs> you don't need my help a girl like you could probably get a job anywhere right huh um now that you mention it so uh this is going south fast uh, oh Francois huh hmm? my cat Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness I need money fast. Tired of your terrible acting. That's not convincing What's at all. Know? Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk. Don't you? I <laughs> heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who? Nishiyama? Oh, uh. Yep, hey, we got what it. What was that about Nishiyama? That's. She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Do you have a minute? You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki Sam was chasing him. Yeah. You, you stay close to the information network, Mishima. I'm sorry. I don't know where he is right now. Really? He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Hmm. First, let's see what kind of bread they got down, Steve. Oh, that. There's always time for bread. What are they talking about? Nishima, Nishima, where are you? We have the time now. I always hate that in games. Thank you, student council president member. I'm 
find books of many different shapes and kinds. <sighs> there he is, gotcha. Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Ida, how do you know about that? Are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Mm, what do you One say? day, the two of us went to Shibuya. <laughs> And a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. How much was he offering? Um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. I only heard that it'll only take ten minutes, and it's good for people who don't stand out. Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? He's suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? This part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves Buzz a small, small envelope. envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. The Mafia are apparently behind all those scams. Maybe they're delivering the money from those? But it's in a small envelope. I doubt big stacks of cash would fit in there. Hmm, any other ideas? It's something the Mafia would commit. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Hmm. <coughs> Drug trafficking, huh? So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. He's still doing that? <laughs> Alright, take over for him. Give it up, Ida. Uh, That's right, it's me. Too? I already told you I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Proof, you've got to be lying. You can't trick me. Come on, you two. He did? That bastard. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. You out here selling drugs? That's terrible, man. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You drug smuggler. <laughs> How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers. 
and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? No. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. <laughs> That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Peace out. No. There you do. are the paths you have walked. Persona, a fee is required. Then accept this persona. Fantastic. Okay. Now. This persona, a fee is required. Then accept this persona. Time for some rehabilitation. Some modification, huh? Card, huh? This shall be the result. 
Go ahead. To a new form. Finished for now? Done already? What? No slacking off. No slacking off. Okay. No, I like Matador in my Items. Kick me head here. <laughs> all right, that's all I had to do, huh? Hey, hmm? it would seem. <laughs> Very well. Huh. Your duty inmate. <laughs> Okay, what you got? Oh, why? Difficulty? Well, let's... Hey, inmate! <laughs> right to be asked enough questions. Something to matter. It's no easy old footy. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. It's just being disrespectful. Oh, apologies. There you go. Continue on with the realization. Listen up, inmate. <laughs> What's going on over there? It's noisy. Another one. Floris with the skill Taruka Jam. Oh, I'm sure I can make that happen. <laughs> I know I can. How goes the rehabilitation? Time for some rehabilitation. Let's execution. You okay with this? Shikiyoji. <laughs> Belfagor leads to destruction. Not terrible, but not impressive. Hmm, she has a zeal attack. Now, all the truth, I really don't need her. <laughs> Yeah, my phoenix got Divadamara. <laughs> Excessive power only leads, leads to, to destruction. destruction. Not 
terrible, but not, but not impressive. impressive. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Kushinara. Who? Do you really need this? Heck no. Excessive power only leads to destruction. I keep saying that. You change your mind, done already? What? I'm a head on out. No slacking off. What are you going to do today? Now. <laughs> the moving theater. <laughs> Guide me, inmate. Not bad for an inmate. Anyone okay, who get here? It's not for elementary school students. Shut up! <laughs> Jumping out of my face. No, that is a good question. Man, I made for you. Now, let us return. So humid. Oh, we got drug dealing and extortion going on. I don't 
get it. No, no, no focus. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics hmm. may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Oh, he's right about them. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Oh man. Let's get going. I forgot to check my lottery ticket. No. Let's go. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Hello. Mm. Hello, hey, fellow. You interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Oh, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Hmm. Hello again, student prison. Man, I need to know if I won the lottery. And <laughs> I won't have to do this. <laughs> I know there's a homeless guy somewhere out here. I'm trying to remember where though. There we go. Some weird phrases, code words. Hmm. Huh. 
high paying jobs at the station plaza. Ice and vegetables or something about snow tomorrow. Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Five hundred thousand yen for just one video. You may even get popular. Tell me more. That's right. There's demand for me. Hey. Taikyu building. In the back alley, yeah. You follow Have me. you made any progress toward finding the boss? Mm. That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. <laughs> it's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious material? Huh. So, you won't answer? Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions? Oh, uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. Um, if you don't want to deal with us... You really gonna say that knowing who he is? Huh. No way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. You messed us up, Makoto. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. I think we should get some proof. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying Those down. are not traps. You laid down some mines that weren't buried. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. You say I had guts. Give me the guts, boy. <laughs> You guys can decide. We call hustle hour. <laughs> it is muscle. Hour. My number. <laughs> I dug it up. Well, dang. I realize 
I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Been searching all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard, her voice. heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Yeah, I like Nijima too. My boy soldier, we can hang! <laughs> Anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend on the other hand is a different story. I think you want to tell me more. Yes, we're gonna tell tell me more. Tell me more. That's what they're doing. to kick his ass out. The soldier wouldn't like this.
<laughs> That's right, I got some business to take you. I'll be back later. Jeez. We boys, soldier. We boys. Ooh. All right. Let's grow. So, we meet again. But my, what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity <laughs> due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. No. Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going out. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she could. But that mafia is stealing. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. On's right. We want to give mm -hmm. courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> yeah, no talent. I don't tell. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off. That's exactly why we should do it. 
It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. this there has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? <laughs> yes, indeed. My ass, I need this paper. Mm. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. <clears throat> Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. Hmm. <clears throat> He's right, you know. Alright guys, I think we are going to call it a night. It has been fun as always. As usual, hope you all have a good night. Stay safe, stay healthy. This turns gambit. I'm signing off for today. I'll see you tomorrow when we continue this cyber sleuthing. <laughs> Catch you later.